All right, seriously, that's good enough for me. It's time for game number two. Time to do a little sideboard in action. Um, so he's... I can't... I mean, like, basically I just got killed by Aetherling, like, really hard. Um, yeah. You want a board in Pything Needle? Because it just... Pithing it Needle's shuts off really all the good. abilities. Yeah, uh, probably the Pit Fights... Pit fights, I the pit fights and the and the these two, I kind of struggle with mentally figuring those out. Selesnya charm, I'm not sure how excellent that would be. Um, it's I'm, not the best, unfortunately. But I would leave it in, just because it gives you some more flexibility. Um, let's see, I actually suck at sideboarding for. Again, for anyone watching, this is why we, we borrow case. I actually, I have no idea what I would even take out. <clears throat> uh, the Angelic Skirmisher isn't that great here. Uh, he's kind of a Bant control deck, rather than, like, the mid-range aggro. Um, you could, like, preemptively sideboard in Sundering Growths, assuming that he's going to board in Detention Spheres. Or has them already. I mean, well, I mean, also, I just don't know what I'm taking out. The, the biggest question is, like, I almost always know what to add in, but I don't know what to take out. Except against oh, aggro, right. I'm taking um, these ones Like, out. you could take out one of the Selesnya Charms and, like, one of the Scions. Okay, the two cool. Sundering Growths. Okay, cool, because that's... that. Neither not... of them are that good against him. Yeah, so, I mean, like, like obviously these things, like Rootborns and Frontlines and, you know, the countering the X spell things are going to be great, but... Yeah. I would love the other thing things. you could take out is, like, you could take out one of the Experiment ones, but that... Crap. Yeah. Or one of the Call the Conclaves, actually, instead of the Selesnya Charms. Uh-oh. We're not doing too hot, Case. <laughs> uh. Sometimes the random number generator just doesn't like you. Now, do I actually keep this? Um, I mean, like, if I draw... You can. If you draw, like... If you draw planes on your first draw step, then you're in great shape. Uh, the issue is if you, like... You can you can very easily just not be in this game, right? Yeah. Oh, God, this is a... But there's, like, what, see. 14 white sources? Yeah, there's 14. No, 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 there's... There's, there's seven, more there's than seven, that. Uh, no, there's the there's eight and seven. It's fifteen white sources because there's seven planes. Crap, is it okay, seven so planes? Fifteen I'm white sources. Sure it's seven planes. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's fifteen white sources. Fifteen over. Fifty-four is pretty bad. <laughs> well, but you have like if you have like two shots to get it, right? So then it's, what? What are the chances that you miss? You have Dude, they're high, but you know what? I'm a gambling man. This could be a very short video segment. This could be a very short one. Alright, Ishin Yamaguchi. You're, you're basically like 50-50 to hit a planes and by turn 3. I actually don't know if this person has actually said anything, so I'm just gonna... Give him the, the good old GLHF. Alright, come on, one time, Case, I hit the F6 button. <laughs> Uh oh. Why'd you hit F6? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, because. Right. I'm, I'm like 15 seconds behind. Alright, here's the big <laughs> moment case. Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, no! Alright. Ugh. And he I plays. Mean, uh... All things considered, Frontline Medic isn't that bad of a draw. A Gate Creeper Vine. Oh, that's an interesting one. He's defensive bant. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Oh, that's a planes. Like I'm sorry. I'm black, red color blind. <laughs> hey, we got the experiment one out. Boom. We're in business case. Well, is... you're on the board, at least. <laughs> I I am in, I I am attending the board. Oh god, a centaur healer. Oh god. Oh no. What a. I really, I really need. Some, it's going to be the guild gate. All right, we got the pithing needle. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god, case, case, case! I took a gamble and it didn't pan out, and I look stupid. <laughs> oh man! It's just numbers, man. 
It's no problem. Dude, Ever, anyone who's ever played Magic has felt the pain that you are feeling right now. Oh my god, he's 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 keeping keeping a one lander that looks like it would be insane if you hit a land. Oh, we're in business, like, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, I'd probably play like the call. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play the call and do a little trade ruining. We don't really have to trade. He'll probably start leaving. Eh, he probably won't start leaving him back, I guess, but. Hmm. That's for Aetherling or when, if he plays one, like Jace. Yeah, yeah. It's weird because, like, I was actually looking at the voice of Resurgence when you said that. <laughs> and I know it's because oh. of the lag, so it's kind of like, oh! Voice of the Resurgence is for Aetherling and Jace. The card is even better than you might think. All right, so he he's just he's just gate fishing. Is it put? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Oh, and he's not swinging. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's a control deck, which means your life total doesn't matter as much to him. I'm gonna... I would probably have still swung with one of the healers, but... Yeah. So... I feel like my play is play a Conclave and swing with just Experiment 1. Well, I guess I could swing with the Centaur as well. I would swing with the Centaur instead of Experiment 1. The Experiment 1 has more value to you. Like, it survives a Wrath. Because you can regenerate it in this once. Once it's 3-3 three, three at least. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's... I actually... Oh, shit, I could have saved it in the previous game. No, you traded it for two two twos in the previous game. Oh, yeah. God, case. Oh, man, I look real dumb. <laughs> it's not like... Wait. What? You just, it's just like... You can't swing with the extent one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. uh... Yeah, like, you might have, instead of, like, trading it for the two two twos, you might have regenerated it and then traded the two tokens for one of his two twos. Yeah. So you have an experiment. It wouldn't have actually changed anything because it's still a, just a two two. And you Let's wouldn't be able see. to regen it after he wraths, but. Or, no, he would have been a two two, and then I would have cast the Advent of Worm. And then it would have been a three three, and then I could have regenerated it. Oh, so, was that the Advent turn? Okay, yeah, yeah so, you, you would have had a. So, okay, I'm going to go. Second call of Conclave, I guess. Well, yeah, you're. Uh, Unfortunately. But, yeah, <laughs> at this point, I kind of would like him to wrath. Yeah, if you were to play call and he wraths, like, he shouldn't, because he's wrathing away two of his own cards and doesn't cost him anything. <laughs> Uh oh. So he really shouldn't, but <clears throat> Alright, so this is where this is where I'm playing points. Voice of the Resurgence. Straight up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I like the no swing there. Thank you. Thank you, Case. Thank you for these delayed compliments. Oh a detention sphere. Okay. Well, on your uh, voice, probably. Probably the voice. And then, um... Yeah, and then it returns to the battlefield. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I did board in Sun Sundering Grove. Mm-hmm. That so. is actually exactly what it's for, is yeah. Detention Sphere. <laughs> detention Sphere, and maybe... In some deck that loves Armadillo Cloak. <laughs> okay, so... Armadillo Cloak's actually not a bad sideboard option instead of like the Centaur Healers or maybe like some of the Alive Wells. So, I mean, I could play a frontline medic here, but then I'm scared about him doing a sweep. Um. <clears throat> well, what does a Wrath do to you? If you play frontline medic, what does a Wrath do to you? Uh, well, it kills my Centaur and my Frontline Medic, and then my Experiment 1 regens, and then I don't really right. have a lot of utility in the long run. So, but, but think of it this way. So, 
he trades his centaur and your centaur, and then he wraths to basically just get your frontline medic. Right. But then I also feel like I don't have any long term play, because like you know if I if I if I oh, oh whoopsie daisies oh I'm, I should have done this a long time ago. Oh wait, never mind. I, I always forget that the card is up here in the top side. Um. Yeah, but I feel like I don't actually have a a good long term play. I mean, I have the sign of the V two Gazi. Right. You can also like start holding up. If he doesn't wrath, you can start holding up rootborn defenses, and frontline medic basically forces him to wrath. Because if he does, if you play frontline medic and he just like land goes, then you can just start swinging with everything. Yeah. All right. It's time. Pray for I me. I mean, it's it's not great, but from the position that you were in earlier, like it's it's a lot better than <laughs> it was looking when you were on one forest and he was playing a second centaur healer. Uh, that's true. I'm amazed my life total is at seventeen. Oh he's oh Angel Serenity. Oh you're getting exiled. Get exiled Angel Serenity is annoying. It's not the end of the world, but It is annoying. Uh, that it is. Well, it's a good thing I drew a second one. Exile, Angel of Serenity. Get out of here, Angel. Bam. Whoa. All right. Um, let's get you out, and let's start taking some damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on me. Oh, God case I have to battle. Oh, dude, I actually completely misread Maze's end. I thought it was put uh, a, a, a gate into your hand. And I was <laughs> like, wow, is that bad? Like, you play it, and then pay three mana. And all you do is bounce your land? You bounce you your playing? land to get a guild gate, and then you have to, like, wait next turn to play it. Alright, well, I got, got my Grove of the Guardians. So that's pretty neat. Uh-oh. Oh shit, are you there? Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god, everything. Look, <laughs> people are saying nice things to me. I can't read nice things while I'm like I'm having adrenaline rushes. My my I have this headphone glitch where it kinda goes like after a while. So it's kinda like, oh my god, is I am I losing connection? Actually, I I do still have a connection, right? Hey, look, I think this is one of my first constructed games. Cool. You are in a very bad spot though. Oh yeah, I'm like totally broken. Well, I mean you gambled. And, uh, <clears throat> I mean, you didn't hit for, like, what, three turns? So I mean, that's that's an accurate statement. I mean, nothing nothing about what you said I think is inaccurate, so. All right, let's populate the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Case, this is... If he wraths, this is this is gonna hurt. Oh, you should have swung with the experiment one. Oh, derp, derp, fneep, fneep, fneep. But if he doesn't wrath here, like he should wrath here. He almost has to. Because if he lets you untap and you've been holding a rootborn defenses, like you likely have been the whole game. Yeah. <clears throat> then his wrath is gonna be like, <laughs> and then when he tries to wrath, it's just like. Yeah. It's gonna hurt his bones. It's gonna hurt his soul. Yeah, I mean, oh, like, oh. He, he should, and he should know that. Like, if he's any good, he's thinking hard. He's going into the tank, or <laughs> or he just wants me to suffer, or he's just like this guy took forever. He's a thing. sadist. He's like, I'm gonna make this guy suffer. He's gonna think, oh, maybe he's not gonna wrath. Also, if you're watching this right now, <laughs> uh, my chat is busted. So if you want to tweet at me at Day Nine TV, that's probably the best way to interact. He also might have, like, another Angel of Serenity, which would be, like, equally bad. Maybe worse. <laughs> <coughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, my God, Case. Did he have another Angel of Serenity? No, he, he Supreme Verdict did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> He's probably gonna, like, end of turn... End of your turn, Mazes end. I mean... Mm. I kind of am excited at the potential to do some of the Grove of the Guardian. 
Yeah. If you know I mean, I mean, you can just like frontline medic and then end of turn Slesnia charm Slesnia for a creature. Charm. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, then I'm trying hard, man. Next end turn, like rootborn or uh, not rootborn, a uh, grove. This oh yeah. You can just pass it out. Oh god, I hate the fact that the grove is foil. <laughs> I hate the fact that two of your lands are foil and two of your lands are not. <laughs> I think I hate that more. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, uh, Chris Muller on Twitter said that I should uh, have tried to piving needle the maze's end. Uh, you could have. That's a, yeah. that's. These are all things that I need to, at the very least, be aware of and to think about. Because, like, I miss a lot unless I play a lot and have comfort with the deck. <laughs> It was an option. Like, it it probably would have deserved a lot of consideration if we had thought of it on, like, turn two. Yeah. Another detention sphere. That's annoying. Mm. Well, at the very least, this game was, like, super useful in that I learned not only what Maze's End is, and but just never, literally never even occurred to me. It's the same thing when I was telling you about Pything Needle for uh, like underworld connections. You yeah, can yeah. name the land that it's on, and it stops it from being used. Same concept, different application. I wonder why it's taking so long. I don't know. You might be dual queuing. I might. Like, I might just concede. I, like on a scale of one to ten, you think I? You think I'm like at a ten level fucked right now? Uh, you're probably at like a nine. Like, you can still draw out of it, like... Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I say... You do have a Selesnya Charm that you can end of turn, oh. make it 2-2. Two, two. Oh, dude, you have no idea you how like... end of turn this is going to be. Oh, <laughs> you can also that. Just, you can also just concede and try to jump in more cues. <gasps> never mind, never mind, we did it, we did it. Here we go. Here we Boys. go. Ooh. Yeah, okay. you, know, you know what I'm saying? You catch my drift, you understand what I'm talking about. Oh god. Oh, I honestly think I should have played Voice of the Resurgence beforehand. Uh yeah, because he can like Azorius Charm or do that. Uh I think I might root born here anyways. Hmm. I probably wouldn't. Just because like I just I just have a terrible the life voice now. Of the resurgence. <laughs> my what? life my life is so bad right now. It's it's a difficult and upsetting life I'm living right now. <laughs> All right. I probably wouldn't though just because like the voice is really good against wraths by itself. And like you're not going to win this game by by running a whole bunch of stuff into a wrath, so uh, close. Yeah, I disabled those foil animations. <laughs> oh, yeah. So while you're in there, go to uh, enable draft recorder. Displaying sound. It's like in the middle of it. It's just something useful when you get to review drafts and stuff. I'm pretty sure it has one. There it is. Wow, I thought I turned that on. Must have been on another account. You know, he's taking too long. Computer, actually. He's, he's taking too long, so I'm just going to concede. I'm obviously not in a good position, but at the same time, Case, this is a show. The we show must show. go on. The show must go on. All right, we're going to... in the two-player queue. You should jump yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. I'm totally going to... I'm going to take a brief, like, two-minute break. Enjoy the music, and we'll be back playing more Magic after that. In case you're muted. No. <laughs> be back in a sec. 